Well, I'm out here today to be in solidarity with the entirety of the mass of the working people uh, as a result of the neoliberal capitalist policies of the Tinibus regime and the untold hardship that it has continued to unfold in multiple directions to the, on the mass of the working people. The entirety of the Nigerian masses are suffering. The only, the few capitalist ruling elite in Nigeria who constitute a very tiny, uh, a very tiny fraction of the country are enjoying. And then uh, we are here today as a result of the criminal removal of the first subsidy. We are here today to call on government to, of course, cut all its ties with the IMF and the World Bank, who are, of course, uh, the cost of this uh, the international collaborator, of course, of course uh, because almost all of the policies, all of the stringent criteria that are contained in, of course, the, 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 uh, the IMF loans are what the Tinibu regime is currently doing, which has to do with, without putting into consideration the, 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 the well-being of the ordinary Nigerian masses. Okay. And what message do you have for Mr. President? Of course, uh, my message for Mr. President is very clear. Firstly, is to nationalize the entirety of the commanding height of the economy and democratically place them under the control of the working masses. Secondly, is to ensure that we have functional refineries. We do not see any reason why. Yes, over years, we will be having billions of naira being budgeted as turned around maintenance for refineries that up till this moment are unable to refine just a liter of fuel. We are here to tell on the uh, to, to, to President that the Nigerian president should cut away with private business. And of course, uh, the Dangote regime, we, the Dangote refinery, which is of course a sham, and billions of taxpayers' money have been given to him freely, and up till this moment, not even a liter of fuel has been refined. So firstly is to ensure that all commanding sectors of the economy are, are democratized. And so secondly is to ensure that they cut, in fact, total cut away from the, the IMF and the World Bank because we ultimately believe that it is only the cutting away entirety of the international capitalist system which has hold Nigeria in these situations that we are currently. The presidents are of course, the president and his entire cabinet are puppets of the IMF and the World Bank. So as our message is to him is that he should consider the well-being of the ordinary Nigerian masses. The ordinary workers on the street are struggling. Somebody have to work for three months before he will be able to afford just a bag of rice. And then this is not, uh, the prices of commodity are not only rising, but they are currently at the roof. And which means that the, the language on the street, of course, is that there's hunger everywhere. And secondly, is that the, we do not accept the student loan bill. That itself is a scam. The government has all of the required resources to make public education functional and affordable to entirety of the mass of the working people. So the student